All righty, so we're gonna make a one pot meal that you can actually do this in a crock pot if you prep it early enough. But I know you're tired of chicken and I know you're tired of beef, so guess what? Thanksgiving is coming, so we're gonna do something with some turkey. So I have two turkey legs here, ready to dip. And we have some turkey mix. And yes, these are frozen. And I'm gonna take, up, oh, camera up. We're gonna take our fresh vegetables that we chopped up. We're gonna get some of the onion and pe in the pot. Uh, onion, bell pepper, different colors. It's so beautiful. We're gonna take those in there, put those in there, let them cook. Let's get one more red one. There we go. Now we're gonna hit it with some of our, our minced garlic inside of the pot. Make sure you dip. We're gonna put a nice helping in there. Mmm, yum, it smells so good. And then we're gonna go ahead and season it with some of our lemon pepper, with some of our ground turmeric. This is a really good way for you to reduce inflammation inside of the body. Ground turmeric doesn't really have much of a flavor uh, so I add it into soups and dishes like that so we can have that good benefit but not have the taste. Smoked paprika. Oh, yeah. Then we're going to hit it with some onion powder. And we have garlic powder. I don't really use garlic salt. I try to ma uh, make sure that we don't use too much salt in our dishes. And of course, ground black pepper. Now, I can't remember who uh, sent me the link. I would like to get one of those salt and pepper shakers um, that you can uh, kind of press the button and has a little light over it and put it in. I think that's so cute. So if you have uh, a link to that, put it in the comments for us. Last of the vegetable broth that we have. And then we're gonna add water to it. Oh, we just had a little bit. Did you see that? Yes. No, it's not a lot at all. I have a chicken broth. Chicken broth. Is there a lot? Yes, and there's enough for it to really add more flavor into that. And the rest we're gonna do is just water. We're gonna use two cups of water. Come on and dip with me. Let's pour it in. Ooh. Now we're gonna put a lid on it and cook it on a very slow temperature on top of the stove because it's already midday. So if you want to do this, you can put this in a crock pot or a slow cooker and it will get done by the time you get off work. Let's put it on the stove. Oh, let's put it on the stove. All righty. We have it sitting on here on low heat. And what we're going to do, we're going to add some rotini noodles inside. Yum. Four hours later. All right. Look at that. It's been boiling for a couple of hours. On low, look at that. The meat is already falling apart. Look at that, y'all. Mmm. It smells like heaven. Look at that big old turkey leg. Ooh, move the camera back. It got it all foggy. Ooh, there we go. Look at that turkey, that turkey leg, y'all. Look at the turkey neck. And that meat is tender. Let's see if we can try a piece. Ooh, let me try it. Ooh. You it's okay? hot. It's hot, son. No, I want to try it. I want to try it. No, I want to try it. I want to try it. No, I want to try it. I want to try it. No, let me get it. No, okay, no. let's let's share it. Okay. Uh, we probably need mm. to work. I'll take the rest. They're really tender. Okay. So, I thought you dropped it. Mm. So, now it's time for us to put our, our noodles in. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Rotanini. <laughs> Rotanini noodles. Oh, my need help eating this. I know, right? I can't eat it yet. It's awkward. Yes, very awkward. Tommy said, I'm down here, right? <laughs> this is going to be so good. And the meat is just falling off the bone. This is an easy way to make turkey and noodles. We'll be back. All righty. That is done. We turned the, oven, the stove off. We got our bowl here. You ready to eat, son? Yes. All right. You want a turkey neck in there? Yeah. All right. So we got a neck in there, and all the meat have fallen off of the turkey legs. So this is a really good hearty meal. You can do this with chicken too. But what I will tell you this, and it would go perfect with some homemade honey cornbread. All right, guys. 
Until next time, welcome to the Nash House.